Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to not uh, Lumber Tycoon 2, but to my lumber. Um, so, a couple things. I was working on the grabby script yesterday. So, whenever you come into a shop and you grab something, see that little blue ball that it happens? Well, there's, uh, there's some particles that come off of it. And there's a there's a turn script so you can hold shift and turn things and that's what I was trying for yesterday for the the welds and stuff like that and I'm happy to report that my game hold on where did it go there it is my game actually has it ah what <laughs> I forgot to turn off my intro. So it's kind of an intro, a little scripty thing. So I took a combination of scripts from yesterday, or from uh, the past. The laser script, see how it's like pointing towards the mouse now? And if I do the mouse like this, it points, and it is only within 10 units away. Now I'm actually going to have to measure, oh come on, where did you go? I'm actually going to have to measure how far away the grab is for this, because I don't think that's 10 units. Although it looks, it's really close. I mean, it's got to be close to 10 units. Now this doesn't look like it's quite aiming the same way, but I did notice, like okay, so if I point my mouse over here at this thing, versus that thing. Something in the background, something up close. Notice how it's uh it is it's still in a logarithm of some kind in comparison to the mouse itself. So uh, okay, enough talky talk. I have three demo logs here. I can pick them up and move them around. What? And the end of the laser should be where that little ball is trying to get to. And you can pick them up. Whoa, okay, there's there's a bug. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the log itself or the thing that you're picking up on the ignore list. Uh, the other thing is I don't have the rotation factor in there. I think it's a gyro. And if you, if you get behind something and you move away too far, like it keeps grabbing on. Versus lumber where if you, hi, hi, God, hi. Hello, much no man. If you grab something and you put it behind something else and then you try and move too far away, it releases. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. So, that's what I'm working on today. Uh, the gyro script, I think, okay. Somebody else said um, it's relative to the camera position. So if I turn like this, it turns. And if I turn like that, Oh, it is. It's, it is relative. I watch your studio videos every day before school. Screen screening? Yeah, we'll take we'll take a screenshot here. Hold on, hold still. Would we'll you just hold still? There you go. Oh, you got it. Got it. Hey, there we go. And cheese. Print screen. I haven't taken a selfie with somebody in a long time. <laughs> hmm. Welcome. Tell your friends. <laughs> that's exciting that's uh, so fun uh, so anyhow this this script right here whenever you're in first person it works great and I, I imagine that uh, if we had shift lock on hold on shift lock shift lock all right uh, let's try this I imagine shift lock works as well so it should work for controllers. Although it does it does aim it right for it does aim for the shift lock area. So, um, anyhow, okay, code. Enough demoing. Show us what you did. All right, I'll do it. Um, let's go ahead and turn that back off, and I'll hit stop over here. And I'm actually going to step outside right here. All right, uh, sorry, AFK. Yes, I am recording. Um, by the way, I did talk to Defaultio. I spoke with Defaultio and we discussed 
Um, I asked him how he felt about me creating lumber, like my own version. And he's like, you're not, like, why would you want to recreate what's already there? So my answer to him is, I'm not. But I, there are certain things about his game. The, the grab, I love the grab. The, the way the tools work, the way the, the land bases, to, to, so you can build your own base. All these things I love, but I want to do a lot more. I don't want to just, just do wood. I also want to do fruit that falls off the trees, and I want to do um, boats. Well, not just boats, but like five or six different lands across the sea that you have to like travel to. Like I want to have inside here, um, I want to have this thing called artifacts. And an artifact would be a singular item. If you tried to duplicate it and it found two copies, like the the artifact itself would report back to the server and say, hey, the only person who owns me is this person. And if that person doesn't log in within a certain amount of time, the artifact will actually disappear and it'll reappear somewhere in the world as a lost artifact. And these artifacts would be stuff like a ring that would allow you to teleport once every day cycle or an axe that will um, increase its powers whenever it's swung in the moonlight. Um, like an artifact, and it would tell you what its powers are, or like, like just things like that. And the way I would make it where um, if there were, were, there could only be one person holding it is it would check itself against a database on the server itself. And if somebody attaches it to themselves, or if they pull it out and it checks the database and says, no, no, this other person already has it, it would automatically destroy itself. Like that's that's the kind of thought process behind it. That way there truly could only be one artifact. And I would have a list of these things out there. But then like to have, uh, have the ability to set a price on an object that you're trying to sell inside your, your base and then that person somebody else could come up to your base and actually click and interact with the object and buy it from you and it would change ownership and grant them access to take it off your base or whatnot stuff like that um or maybe even like an auction house where it's like this thing you go up to and it show a list of things that people are auctioning off and you could purchase it from a list and then it would be delivered to your base or something i don't know that is my thought behind all the extra stuff. Hi. Hi. Perfect setup. Nice. Screeny. <laughs> Thanks. AFK. Um, anyhow, uh, let's go over here to the context grab, okay? So yesterday we were working right around here with the drag ball, okay? I took all that stuff that was up here and I put it into a function called drag ball down here at the bottom. Uh, create drag ball. Local drag ball equals instance part, blah, 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 right? And then it returns the drag ball itself. So that part we put into dragger, and dragger is a global to this function, and it's set to nil. So the dragger itself will create a weld between the drag ball and the grab object. Um, the weld A, this function is actually from that weld page that I saw yesterday. Uh, so if you watched yesterday's video, I was looking this up. I actually just took this function and it works really well. It takes two parts, it creates a weld in between those two parts just right where they're at. And that's what I needed, so. Um, once that's done, I come over here and I say drag ball weld, uh, and then I do a function called add mover to the drag ball, or to the dragger. And the add mover says new mover equals instance dot, and you pass in the part that you wanna add the mover to. Uh, body position, new uh, mover part parent equals the part. Uh, the max force is 40,000, 40,000, 40,000. I actually have to change this. New mover dot P or D. I can't remember which ones. I think it's P equals. Here, let's just insert one real quick. Uh, insert body pose. What is the default? Is P. Uh, I want to set P to 40,000. We And then uh, new mover dot D is how quickly it will get there. And let's set that to like 10. So let's check that real quick. That's how aggressive. Ah, stop, stop, stop.
stop. Sorry. I love the intro, but uh, whenever I have to listen to it 20 times in a row, it's like, Ugh. and I might change that. All right. Disable the script for the intro script. All right. Go. Just play. So now it should be a lot more aggressive towards P. Oh my gosh. That's, that's too aggressive. You need to calm down, sir. Wow, that's like, whoa, super aggressive and super powerful. All right, let's, let's go back and turn that down. Let's turn that way down. Wait, where did it go? Kill that. Uh, kill that. There we go. Let's put this up to maybe 125. Try that. Oh, got to get closer. Whoa. Very glitchy. So it's like it's like forcing itself. Stop. We want to give it a little bit of give way. Um, what was the default value again? Default value is 1,250. Let's go down to 750. And I can I can delete that. So delete that. Move five. Okay. Hello. Oh, that's better. Oh my goodness. Wow. Spin. <laughs> It's still pretty aggressive versus versus something over here. So let's uh, let's take it up to a thousand. Maybe maybe a thousand will be less pushy. Let's do let's do nine hundred. Nine thousand. Okay. Oh, oh, come on, come on. And we don't need the laser beam anymore. I just thought the laser beam was pretty cool. That's still really aggressive. Okay. So, let's hit stop. Uh, context grab. Yeah, let's take it to 1,000. And we probably don't need 40,000 for the force. That's a, That's a little bit better. Uh, tell me in the comments down below. Did you did you like how aggressive it was to try and get to that position or no? So there we go. Still looks pretty aggressive. Uh, next, we uh, let's see. I want to do so. Anyhow, um, I did the create drag ball and hold on. So that gets. Harder with the bigger mass. Now that's strange. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> hi, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> oh gosh, that base got stuck deloading. Um, here I'll just I'll stand here for a second. Okay. Maybe we don't need. 40,000, maybe, maybe just 20,000? No, tell you what, I'll leave that alone. Um, and we're gonna call this, uh, we're, we're actually going to add another mover. This one's going to be body gyro. And instance body position, it's gonna be body gyro. Uh, it's going to be to part and what are our if I if I do this and I do body gyro like that maximum torque okay the C frame is what's not showing over here you cannot set the C frame which is the rotation of the object that you're looking at or, or of the body mover so body mover parent there is no max force. There is a max torque. 
which is going to be the same thing. Um, P of 3,000 over here and a 500. Let's leave those alone. Three, one, two, three, and 500. So I guess the max torque should be whatever the max power is. So 3,000 comma 3,000 comma 3,000. So if we leave it alone whenever it first appears, mover, uh, rotator, ro rotate, rotate. Uh, let's call it rot mover. So there's a mover and there's a rot mover. <laughs> okay, let's try that real quick and just see uh, see what happens. Uh oh. No, it's not position. It's going to be C frame equals part dot C frame because it should be facing the same direction as it should be the exact same C frame as the. Uh, oh no. no, no, no! It doesn't take the position. It only takes the rotation. Oh, nice. Okay, so now, okay, stop. <clears throat> so since I already have this inside a um, shift, I need to add actions to WASD. All right, so cast bind action. Um, C, let's see, let's see, rot forward, comma, mm, I did context and grab, so I'm, I'm going to have to go under grab for this one. So action name equals grab. So this entire thing actually gets skipped and this gets skipped. So if if action name equals rot forward then Oh, by the way, I I forgot to tell you. You can collapse your code right here. So if it means rot forward, we want to get the camera and the forward facing the forward rotate which would be rotate right hmm. anyhow let's let's get these set up real quick uh, it's going to be under the grab function uh, what is false for the bind action why is there a sound okay hold on you're surprised that Defaultio plays Lumber Tycoon 2 now? I'm surprised how easy it was to join him. Oh, I'm not Defaultio. Subcode. Defaultio plays Lumber Tycoon 2, Tycoon 2 now. Oh, when was the last time he uh, updated it? Changelog. Uh, April 5th. Floating fixed. Oh, that was in the water. No, we don't want a floaty fixed. So, okay. I'm gonna have to look up bind action. I don't remember what bind action was. Uh, Roblox bind action context. Contact action service. There we go. Contact action service. Okay, so the action name, the bind to function, create touch buttons. Got it. So I'm not creating touch buttons yet, but input types should be keyboard, right? Okay. It should be shift and the keyboard. Uh, two action handles. Two actions handling the function. Enumerations. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's go back over here. So we don't want to create anything yet. False. Uh, enum. Dot. Keyboard. Key. Key code. No. 
user input type keyboard all right what what can I do here I can I can actually bind to a thing right yeah enum key code F enum dot key code dot W okay copy that one two three four rot forward rot back word rot left rot right <laughs> so uh, w s left right okay so all of these should rot forward rot backward rot left rot 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 shaggy <laughs> Oh gosh, I hope you guys had a good day. I've I've had a wonderful day of uh, programming and playing and just having fun at work. So uh, inside here, we're gonna have to hold. We're gonna have to rot these. So if action name equals that, and if uh, input input object dot Hold on. How do I how do I say if I'm holding shift and the button? Ooh. Cuz I'm I'm not sure if that's going to take over. How how far along are we? Okay. We're at 22 minutes. Oh my gosh, code code. You've not done much coding today, but Okay. So if in the input rot left, um let's do camera uh, uh, well, first off, if dragger, so if dragger, then, so that way we can tell if we have a dragger, then we don't have to worry about the, the rest. Um, rot forward. Oh gosh. Okay. See, and this is, sorry guys. Uh, bye everyone. I'm going to just going to jump out. And let's do Winamp. Fire up some Win Winamp. There we go. That way we can have our Kevin MacLeod in the background. <clears throat> so if the action name equals rot forward, then. And this is where a function or a uh, module script would actually come in handy. But I'm going to do it all here. Rot forward. Rot back word. Rot left. Rot right. Rot row. Uh, if we have a dragger, then. Actually, since all of these are going to be inside the same context of if there's a dragger, I can take all this stuff out. Because if there's no dragger, we don't need to worry about the WASD keys, right? So, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just go full screen on me? Can't go full screen. Can't double stamp a triple stamp. Can't double, can't double stamp a triple stamp. Who got that from Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> okay, if the action name equals rot forward, then. I guess um, <clears throat> blah. No, let's call it something. Local camera equals uh, game dot current. No, game dot camera. Oh, game dot workspace dot current camera. There we go. <clears throat> So the game .workspace .current camera. Um, if the action name is that, then if input object dot what what are we getting back from the input object? On from the input object. Input object. Where are you? 
input types, context service, input object, input state begins, input state, input object, dot key code. Okay, so if input object, oh, I guess I don't have to do different ones for each one. Let's just do rot. Because uh, that's the function. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And can I do multiples inside the enumeration codes? False, enum z, enum x. Yes, yes we can. So this whole thing can go boink like that. Do, 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 do. Boink like that. Boink like that. So <laughs> we can rotate, call the function grab. Don't create um, touch inputs yet. And we're looking for the key codes um, W S A D. So then I should only need one of these. So if the action name is rot, um, don't need to indent that part. If input object dot key code, was it key code? Dot key code, code equals enum dot key code dot shift left shift and and enum dot key code dot w then okay so let's put some things in here um Check to see if dragger is true. Uh, if we have a dragger. That's the first thing. Because if there's no dragger present, why are we worried about holding shift or anything else? It should just fall through and skip it. Next, um, uh, get, oops, oh, oh, dang it. Get the local camera as a reference to which way we are going to rotate. Um, and I guess it should be if the action is rot. This should actually come first. So, it's a little confusing. Maybe not. Oh, 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 come on. There we go. Uh, also, there's a lot of people that were worried and concerned, like, code, you're showing all of your code online. Is, aren't you worried about somebody exploiting? Well, yes, there is that risk, but at the same time, this is like, the, I want to show you what I'm doing inside my code so you can go and do that with your code. And it's it's more of a way of like me teaching you how to do things. Uh, we can end all of that. Um, dragger dot rot mover, rot mover, <clears throat> if rotating forward, then uh, get, okay, I've not worked with the rotations before, uh, see, we'll just call it c-frame, local cf equals um camera camera dot c frame 
plus. Um, dragger dot rot mover dot c frame. Plus, is it plus? How do I add the rotations? All right, Roblox C frames add to rotations. Math operations again. Ugh. Oh gosh, I am okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry gonna have to do it again to you so um thank you everyone for watching this episode of um let's make a game with me heath haskins code priming i have been working on this in like not record times and during my other times of like lunch breaks and in between times and like while i'm i'm waiting on the bus for Fortnite. so i mean i i've been working on this in between everything else so I will continue to show you the code that I come up with and what I'm doing inside the game, and that's that's the progress of the game. Hopefully it continues to do well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro. Thank you.